And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I wish I was looking this off your pussy. Oh, the kids are back, everybody. It's 6 p.m., well, 6.06 in New York City. Uh, It's the bonfire. We are live. We are Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J. Okerson. Holy shit, sitting across from me. Shiny, beautiful man over there. (laughs) So happy to have him. Shiny. So shiny. Is it because of the lighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, downright oily. Hey, say. hey, hey, well, hey, hey, hey. Uh, cool, they lit dude. you up like you're uh, cool. fucking Joan Crawford. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you're sick reference. <laughs> sick, sick, sick old <laughs> Hollywood reference. Sick reference, bro. It is Dan Soder, everybody. Hi. He's back. Hey, everybody. The Hello. kid is back. Back from Scotland. I'm back Americanized. You were you were so Scottish for a couple days when you came back. So Scottish. You couldn't let it go. I had to sleep in a stone building. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't turn it off. Couldn't turn it off. Just wanted to walk up hills. Oh, buddy, I'm so happy to have you back. We had Dude. we had fun shows while you were gone. We held the fourth down. Joe DeRose was unbelievable. Joe DeRose is the man. In uh, in Los Angeles. Oh. oh, that cackle. Yeah. How did he not play one of the hyenas in Lion King? <laughs> I mean, listen to that. Yeah, he, he laughs like that. Get out of here! Get out of here, you and, damn hyenas! And he's built like a hyena? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is, that is eerily almost similar. Almost haunting. Yeah, it's almost eerily similar to a hyena. So haunting. He did an amazing job uh, while we were out in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, he came over and got hammered at my house on Saturday when we watched AEW, and it was just great to hang out with junk. Like, uh, get he came over to AEW. Did you watch wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. He's an old school wrestling fan. So he came over to watch AEW with a couple of people. To like give it a shot or he knows what's yeah. going on? No, he didn't know what was going on. He came over to like hang. He was like, I want to come hang. Just get blasted on your yeah. couch. He was drinking like old school. Like it was tempting. He was doing uh, tequila with Modelo's. Really? Yeah. Just knocking back shots. <laughs> he was making people drink with him. Oh, it was yeah. great. That's totally Joe. He wants to bring everybody down in the hole. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to grab as many people on the way down as he can. Come on, dude. I'll get a my yeah. own, I'll get my own hooker, but if we get five, they take like thirty dollars off each one. He walked over with just three glasses together for shots, and he's yeah. like, All right, who's doing shots with me? If Jacob, if you would have been there, you would have been in the line of fire. I, I was that uh, CJ. Right. More? I would have loved to have been I was trying wow. to get there. Look at Jacob throwing Shade. <laughs> uh, we got to say real quick, thank you to Tammy for sending in these uh, two fans, Forever Fragrant Kid on uh, YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for she from, sent uh, these two awesome Lugal. fans. You know we're fans of the show. Lugal. And now we both have our own fans. Dan throws a little shade. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I do, bitch. Work. <laughs> Hello. Those are ridiculous. Uh, thank you very much. I love them. Oh, look a hole. Look a guaw. I'll never look stop. A... Dan. Uh, <laughs> oh, look a guaw. <laughs> we should just play guar every time we throw shit. Look at guar. <laughs> guar. <laughs> yeah, we specifically play guar. Oh, look at guar. Look at, well, good news, everyone. I've already got a splinter from this. Oh, no. The wood broke already. Man. Jacob, what'd you do in transport? What did you do? What did you do, dude? What did you do? Are you trying to take Jay down? Show one back? You would take me out with this, <laughs> like a frontiersman with a splinter? <laughs> yeah. With a dirty, dusty splinter? He goes, my hope is, is he stays on the range <laughs> for two weeks and that thing festers. I, dude, I haven't asked you a zillion stories about Scotland. because I, I have a family there the now. My son, Patrick, is looking after my land. <laughs> Patrick O'Soder? Patrick, <laughs> I need to leave and go back to America. There's a radio show that needs my services. <laughs> Father! I'll miss you. <laughs> you're going to grow up You fine. killed your mother in childbirth because <laughs> you got the head that my father gave me. The man drank himself to death because he felt bad <laughs> that he would do that in and his now, life. You, you are, <laughs> you are the lost soder. <laughs> Uh, it was fucking fun. That <laughs> should be a movie, movie trailer. The Lost Soda. Yeah. The Lost, the Scottish Soda. It was, uh, it was fucking, it was fun, man. I bet it was too long. It was, it I was think a you're lot bananas of, for doing it. I think it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, the best. I didn't way- want to get you down going out because I know what that would do to me. Yeah, but I, I uh. But man, at, from the time you said you were going to the time you left, I would, uh, the only question I would have asked over and over again 
uh, to someone I was genuinely trying to stop from doing it yeah. would be the question, like, why the Christ would you want to live in another country for a month? Because I, I don't think I'd ever get this opportunity again. I don't think I'd ever get this opportunity to live in Scotland again, and it was a good time to run the hour and just, like, build the hour. It you said it was doing, too long. But it was too long. Yeah. I mean, also doing Montreal and Dublin before then mm-hmm. was a lot yeah. to put in front of that. If you were and do, Colorado. If you Colorado. do two weeks, I get Great. It. I Which, it. by the way, a lot of people do. A lot of, like, Steve Rain is easy, did the back end run. There's, like, a lot of comics that come and do just do the last two weeks of the festival. And that, that makes a lot of sense for me. A month was a lot, but there's people that love it. Like Sean Patton, you know? He loved it. He doesn't love it. He was, like, ready to go, but he can do He's done it more than once. And he's, like, kind of get it. If you bring your life out there, he even brought his chick, right? His, well, his girlfriend, Caitlin, was our, she, Caitlin Cook, she had a show at the Fringe as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it made sense. Yeah, it was right. fun, man. It was a good living situation. We had the classic NES. We still didn't beat Tyson. We tried to beat Tyson from the first guy up. I, and I also do don't it. understand why you wouldn't have brought a more uh, sophisticated machine with you. I should have done that. I should have brought the PlayStation 4. Oh, yeah. It's too much. The, the, the hokey games will get old. But I think going, uh, they get old. But I won a Super Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl. So good job, 1991. That San Francisco 49ers. Yes, it does. It means a lot to me. That doesn't mean anything to you. It means a lot to this guy. No, it doesn't. That was alone in Scotland winning, <laughs> winning, winning rings. You could play a better game on your phone of football. Yeah, probably. No, not probably. One thousand percent. Yeah, there is a much more sophisticated football game on. But your I like phone. Tecmo Super Bowl. I like playing that game. It's, it's a fucking shitty product, asshole. Okay. Yeah. Well, bees. Well, it's coming from the bees, or don't Gilberts. you fucking shut up, Kayla? <laughs> Kyla, you fucking shut up. Are we haunted? Uh, did they haunt? Did they die? And they haunting the studio? <laughs> we have the film crews in today. Yeah. Uh, Lynn and other Corey. Step Corey. Who Step did not, you did Step not Corey like voting. Step Corey came in and, and basically made you mow the lawn. He changed everything. And you're like, I don't like you. <laughs> then, I don't like then, you. Then he just came Corey over. Corey doesn't make me do anything. Then he just came over and moved the chair out of the way. He goes, nah, I let everybody see how wide you are. Whoa. Because I was trying to get myself a little bit covered up. He, he didn't. He, I saw him. He looks like was a, coming out of the corner of his mouth. He goes, tell me wide he would, you are. I just realized. He, <laughs> what else would that be? He, wide you are. He looks, like a, he looks like a cast member from one of the first five seasons of Real World. Yeah. Other quips you be a thug or a great dancer <laughs> yeah or an artist uh but you don't like step cory because it's well, too like bright cory very much well you're upset the house studio question like step cory's uh ability to light a goddamn room and we're so lit up right now <laughs> that's why you called this. me shiny and now I'm, i didn't know now I, I'm, i'll be honest with you i didn't know christine had face freckles until this moment oh my god i had I no know idea you were right kissed now. by angels on your, <laughs> on your nose <laughs> I miss you, know, you guys. DJ so Lou's got four black teeth. What? I had no idea. Oh, dead mouth whiskey. Oh, no <laughs> dead tooth whiskey. <laughs> dead tooth. <laughs> that should be a shot. <laughs> dead, dead tooth whiskey. Because you never go up into my hill. <laughs> dead tooth whiskey. Jacob, I missed you. Missed you. Oh, thanks. Damn, Damn dude. Trip. I missed everybody. What the fuck does that mean? It's been a month. <laughs> wow, man. Jesus. I know, Jay. You came back with so much more than you even get. I missed you, Jacob. You went, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you missed me? Oh, my God, did we need you. No. You. He was oh, you mother like F. Stop. You're doing so well. <laughs> you were doing so well before this. Now you're slipping up. Come on. That's it. <laughs> work. Work it. Looks like it's time to work. It is time to work. It's time to get to work. <laughs> Must be a, time to work. With an E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Guar. Do we have Guar? Oh, look at Guar. <laughs> so it's, so, so it's not what's supposed to play when so you open funny. that fan. It's like oh, wait, a, cut it. Cut look it. Look at Guar. Oh, is it time to throw some shade? <laughs> 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 uh oh. I don't know if I can only give you one piece of advice. I would say it's bitch work. <laughs> so great. Ooh, you'll never guess who I caught coming at the comedy cellar talking about an employee at the stand. I'm throwing. <laughs> I'll do one more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can move on. <laughs> Dan, you got to let that bullshit Scottish shit go because you back in New York, baby girl, and it is time to wow, work. <laughs> Take it back. I don't deserve it. I blew it every possible way. Yeah, you did. Every way that could have went bad, it went bad. <laughs> um, you, know what's, you know what's good news? I don't know if it was a gift for me coming home to America, but Roman, shout out to Roman Palumbo for unblocking you and I so we can look at Sierra Sky now. He unblocked us. Yeah, dude. She didn't. 
You think she knows who we are? I, I don't know. That's what I thought you were saying. When no, you said that. he unblocked us on her account. So you can wait on her account. Remember, he told us that when he called Remember in. He blocked you guys. He's on the one her that blocked account. us. So you're on her account again. I'm I'm able to see her account again. How I'm did unblocked. he block your account? He when it, he told us the story. He grabbed her phone. <laughs> yeah. He went to both of our profiles. Physically, that's <laughs> got physically, you. got you. So I'm ass. saying, and then he went back on her phone, and I think a camper was unblock, like I think, on one of his pictures. So it was like you should unblock. Here's what I'm getting confused. I yeah. only thought one of them unblocked us, or, or I thought she was the only one who blocked. Roman, us. we were always fine with. He blocked us on Sierra's account. <laughs> Didn't know that, and, and now yeah. he's opened that up. Yeah. So you are. So you so, are back in the Sierra's account. Yes, but you didn't even know it was gone. So you're fine. It's push. I've been fine the entire time, yeah, dude. Look at this. One set of footprints. Hey, man, I don't know if you know this. You can just Google those images, man. <laughs> I don't know if you have to really be. Ah, I like the convenience of the app. Yeah. Grab you think you, you follow want, her? Okay, yeah. Have whatever you want, baby girl. Woo! You love her, dude. I don't love her. No, yeah, you do. you disrespecting your boy who just gave you privilege to dude. look at her again. <laughs> dude, that is so funny if you put that out on paper. I give you privilege to look at my girlfriend. <laughs> like, that's a, what a dork. He I feel you, like such a you, dork. He just, She's like, look at my hot girlfriend. You're like, hey, thanks, man. How's that uh, jean jacket without a shirt under working out? Keep looking at me. Look at me. Oh, and then look at her. Dig? <laughs> you dig? I mean, the story of Roman and Sierra, him hating us and then becoming a fan of the show is probably one of my favorite arcs. The only way this could be outdone is if we had Chet Hanks on the show to rap. Do they any chance get old and ugly? No. No, they stay uh, Scottsdale hot once they get to about 50. But she's going to... Right. Scottsdale, she's which 50, is very she's specific have, like, Tan, it's, tight it's, tits. It's just you can't even picture that she's going to be 50 at some point and have like a baggy arm to some degree. Yeah, most of these... like I bet he looks like Randy West. Him? Yeah, you think he goes eighties porn guy. No, but I'm saying like you know how Randy West had that look where he was like an older dude with gray hair and like gray chest hair. Yes, but I don't think this guy's getting chest hair. I mean, you don't know that he probably has to shave. You think it's gonna pop up I mean, when he's an old man when he's like fifty? No, you look at that chest, dude. That chest does not grow hair. I say Roman ages like Richard Marks. Oh, what the crap? What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Remember he called it? Huh? We had we talked about him. Richard, Richard Marks, Marks like, aged a, well. I'm just saying an older guy. An older celebrity? Yeah, oh, he's going to look like him, you mean? Oh, you think he's, he's just... age well. How did, Lorenzo, how did Lorenzo well. Lamas that's not, that's age? That's not aging well. <laughs> and that's old. Oh, Richard Marks is the guy that freaked out because another radio station talked about him. Did he? Right? Wasn't that the story? I don't remember. It's kind uh, of right. Richard Marks helped stop a passenger and said, on a Korean air flight. Oh, what? <laughs> Dude, I swear we talked about this. Yeah. We definitely talked about this. Yeah. Man, I'm a burnout. It's official. Hey. I couldn't tell you any of this. Look at me. Richard Marks got involved. And I don't know how it's possible that I don't remember that at all. Lorenzo I Lamas. Mean, it's a lot of show you guys do. Lorenzo Lamas looks like, um, uh, who played Hellboy? Ron Livingston? Ron Livingston. No, not, no, not, Ron, not Livingston. Ron Livingston. <laughs> Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. What a big uh, difference. I don't know. Ron Livingston office That's Lorenzo space. Lamas now. He looks like Chris Jenner. He looks like the mom of the Jenners. He's odd looking as shit, man. He looks like he owns a comic book store. But he was dorky, doofy looking in Greece, then got awesome looking in Renegade. Renegade. On Falcon Crest, he was just like handsome. But like Renegade. Man- Lore- but Renegade's when he that's, got awesome. That's looking. top tier Lorenzo Lamas. Oh, look at him up there. Wait, no. Christine, go back to Lorenzo Lamas. Oh. And go up to that renegade picture. Right Top, here? Yes. You knew the one. <laughs> yeah. He like God aged damn. into being a dork, but he was a yeah. dork before he got cool. Yes. Okay. The so he went fake. dork. He went da- dork, cool dork. It's the same concern I have for, uh, by the way, who I love, who reached out to me on uh, the gram, by the way, the guy who played Opie on Sons of Anarchy and now is beta on Ryan Walking Hurst. Dead, Ryan Hurst. Yeah. Awesome actor, but it was like a curly hair shave face guy before sons of anarchy and now he lives as his sons of anarchy look now i'm fine with that it yeah. is just odd it's just like, i, I should say it's odd it's odd to make such a drastic change it'd be like if i just go, it'd be okay. like if i just wore like blue plaid shirts around it's all of a sudden all of a sudden just all, i'm on billions then i'm just wearing i'm just wearing blue plaid shirts everywhere yeah i mean look at him look at him when he's not uh, yeah that guy's awesome that guy's an awesome actor yeah, but look at him now. That's how he lives now, and he's way awesomer. Look how awesome he looks like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I Dork. remember him. He was in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, uh, remember the Titans? Yeah, he's great. Oh, yeah. and that's how he looks now? Fucking sick, dude. Is that what you would... 
I mean, you should just go Louis J. Out. Gomez said that I've, my life's goal, he said, he's realized that I've been working my whole life to try to look like Opie from Sons of Anarchy. This is before I knew who he was. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, yeah, no. But he's a, um, it's weird when someone just like ado- adapts the look to like a thing. So Lorenzo Lamas, I think Renegade was like grow your hair long, and be this bounty hunter guy. Yeah, and then he went right back to dweeb, probably. Yeah, because the other pictures he doesn't have a lot of. He doesn't have more cooler pictures than dorky pictures. His dork pictures, the cool pictures. <laughs> there's there's more dork than cool. Who was the Playboy girl that he was married to? So they, had, oh, they, had a, they, me, they, they had a nasty breakup, I think. But her Playboy spread, I had pulled out of the magazine. Yeah. On just a stack of papers. Shauna Sand. Yes. Am I Shawn, right? Uh, I don't know. Brunette. With uh, I think whoever it is ended up doing a porn too. Well, she, she was definitely jumped. in Playboy, and I got. Um, I used to put them on the top shelf of my closet mm-hmm. under this like uh, suitcase or whatever. I'd put like a stack of in the suitcase na- naked pictures, assorted butt plugs, <laughs> toys, pocket pussies, toys galore. I'm talking about, ass, <laughs> uh, poppers, <laughs> <It's like> poppers. <laughs> handcuffs, whips. I was a kinky little fuck. No, I had sex swing rig. I had uh, those pictures, and then um, yeah, that was it. And then all of a sudden, one day, I went to go get the pictures to Jo, mm-hmm. and they were gone. Mom um, got them. Yeah, the dish took them. The dish got man. Em. She had. Let me tell you about this girl's. I don't know how to co- compliment her. I'll say the economy of pubes. Yeah, uh, it's not a lot of pubes. Man, the ones that are there are dark and full. Yeah, lush, making them count. Yeah, it's a real pussy you want to lay your head on. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they had. Uh... Sorry, I'm working on some rap lyrics. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> and she had a nasty divorce with Lorenzo Lamas. Yeah, I think she chugs cock in a video too. I think she went for it eventually. She was just like, let's she do it. She was out of money. She was out of money and like, let's put this, let's just get into it. Yeah. See if there's a Sean of Santa. I think it's kind of weird. I think it's because it's later in the game too when she's like, what's happening now is it's all rib cage and <sighs> and fake tit. You know what I mean? Doesn't have like the, the smoothness of youth anymore. She's yeah. banging a guy who's like <laughs> weirdly like Willem Dafoe muscular. Yeah. Where he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just stringy, stringy strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah he's got golem back he's got thick he's thick neck muscular yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> and she's like yeah baby yeah, yeah baby, baby. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah i curl my back and i'm still muscular you can yeah. see my traps but i don't have traps yeah, yeah. um i want to yeah tell uh jacob something that i think is gonna upset you i told you we had, had dinner on saturday and I told you uh, this briefly, but I texted everyone. I was so excited when me and Lewis were in Texas. We went to a gun range. Mm-hmm. And he's like, let's go to a gun I was like, all right, I'll go. Like, that's what I love about Lewis. He'll get me to go do something. Yeah. Him and Ari Shafir, two people that always get me to go do something. I think I might be... I took Lewis, I think, to his first gun range. Yeah, in Austin, probably. Yeah, right? in Austin. So he goes, let's go to a gun range. We go. I have to say, first of all... I think he might I've be. always heard these things, but I've never overthought anything about it. I mean, I handed him a license. In fact, I think at that point, we only one of us handed our license. The two of I think Lewis may have given his license and or his ID, and they just handed us two AR fifteen or an AR fifteen and two a fifty caliber handgun like pistol. Yeah, and then uh, I think like a nine millimeter or something. But like, it was terrifying that they just handed that uh, over. the whole. Just no, no, no. Yes. And the whole thing, the whole ordeal was anxiety-inducing, terrifying. That may sound buzzy, but I mean... It well, was some just, people like that, that that rush. That's, I think, dude, part when, of the... You know. you'd be, I'd be shooting so nervous that I was like, is everything, all the buttons right? I got out of the safety off or Yeah, on it's or a lot. Whatever. And then a hot shell comes in from over <laughs> the other <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I don't know, man. It was just loud, and I didn't know what I was doing, so I was asking questions, and the guys get frustrated while you're asking. It was a bad experience, what yeah. it was overall. I mean, very scary, the the just other dudes being around you with guns, man. It's crazy. Now, Jacob, you go to ranges a lot? Do you go to shooting ranges? I, yeah, I go down and shoot every time I'm in Florida. Were you so uncomfortable the first couple times? Because you're... I know yeah, s- I mean, look, we're from New York, and it's not a part of your life, and then you go... To a gun range and just Jacob, we're white in New York. Just, That's why it's not a part of our lives. <laughs> no. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, I mean, also, I wasn't used to, I wasn't firing a gun before, so yeah. man, it's just a powerful thing in your hand. And yeah, Jay's right. There's just people blasting <laughs> guns to your right and left. The AR-15 was bananas to be fired. You go to gun ranges, Black Lou, ever? But I, I enjoyed it. I've gone to two. I haven't gone to many. Indoor? Indoor. See, indoor is worse because the Terrible. sound. So did you find, loud. Did you find it scary at all, or was oh, it just wait. like did you find oh, it was fun? I had a forty. We were using a forty-five, and it was. I could never imagine shooting well, someone. You now. were indoor, like Jay. Too- indoor. Oh, that changes everything because the sound waves aren't dissipating. So I mean, they go no, through thanks, to your professor. vertebrae. <laughs> I know how it works. I know, but it's just Jay, so much. Welcome spaces. to the wonderful world of sound waves. <laughs> it's just so hey, much is your worse. Car radio sound really low. <laughs> goes, Why don't I you think... go ahead and roll those windows up, bub? Hey, I didn't. You didn't tell me that. That's. Jacob's working, uh, Science. Jacob's working for the Jacob's working for the NRA. He's going, well, it's the sound waves that are the problem. <laughs> I think you enjoy an outdoor range a lot more. Outdoor ranges so are fun. I've done an outdoor range. I've I think I range. think I would enjoy that much more too. But whatever it is, it's just, here's what what's scary about it isn't like so I can get through the gun scariness. I get it pointed away. I'm never I'm never gonna check a gun like looking down the barrel Dude, of it. I fucking my is this thing even loaded. <laughs> my so I'm not worried about shit like that. I don't like I I don't trust people enough. To have 12 other people walking yeah. around. And the stupidest response I keep getting to that is, it's a death sentence, dude. If a guy pulls out a gun and starts going crazy, and they're like, they're going to shoot him. I go, yeah. <laughs> what if I'm the guy next to them that makes them realize they have to shoot him? Because he's blown my fucking uh, nose off my head. <laughs> just, you fucking idiots. Brain, what does that mean? He goes, this is brain goo. No, nobody would do that. No normal sane person would ever do that. You know, like the normal sane people that commit other crazy murders? When I lived with uh, my old roommate, Amir, we were living in Tucson. Um... My friend Paul came over, and it's an open carry state, you know? So Paul came over and had his gun, and he put his gun on the table, and Amir was like... Doesn't that mean you can walk with an open beer? (laughs) It's bizarre. (laughs) Yeah. I think it is. Open carry is for booze. What is it? Uh, Unconcealed... What's it called when you can walk around with a gun? Concealed carry. Concealed carry? Unconcealed beer. (laughs) Unconcealed beer? I got a concealed beer. (laughs) I got a concealed beer. I got an unconcealed beer. But anyways, he came over and put the gun on the table, and Amir uh, didn't grow up with guns, and he was just like... Yo, can I hold the gun? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I don't feel comfortable with you doing that. And Paul was like, Yeah, let me take the clip out. And he took the clip out and handed it to Amir. And Amir was like, Yo, this gun is is nice. And I was like, Amir, let me see that. And he, I pulled it back, and there was a gun in the ever. slide. And I was like, oh. Jesus, man. And Amir was like, Yeah, I wasn't gonna fucking point it at you, but he was pointing it around. There was a story in my high school. Where we but obviously, he's girl. an idiot. This girl was a uh, Stephanie Bendit. I think was dating a guy. What a good name for a story about someone getting shot. <laughs> or Bennett. Do you guys remember the Bendits? Her <laughs> fucking brother got his head blown off by their neighbor. No, so dude. Like, her brother got uh, his head blown off by her boyfriend oh. in a fucking dumb, like, guys dicking around with the dad's gun. I, uh. I think and they were fucking, like, doing, and they got into an argument about something. And the kid, like, held the gun out to him. And I, they, by all accounts, the kid goes, "What are you gonna? You're gonna shoot me, dude? I'm your friend. You're not gonna shoot like you know. I think it was more of like you're not gonna shoot me, you pussy." And he just shot him in the chest and killed like, kids in people, jail forever. I think people like, forget before mass shootings that was the whitest way to die by gun. It was your friend, dumb going, friend, yeah, friend, friend going like, "Hey, look at your finger, dad's gun!" <laughs> like, "Oh fuck, Sean!" He's like, oh. "I mean, dude, there was." Christine I, said her dad's gun was readily accessible. <laughs> Which is terrifying. Christine's just, Christine, no, I'm just imagining June, Junior homecoming. Christine's just there with a bottle of gin and her dad's, <laughs> her dad's gun. And she's like, okay, all right, fuck homecoming. Out here. I was going different. I thought she was going to be like Annie Oakley and just go out back and start, when they come over to her dad, she has the pick. Because it, it was a revolver, right? 33 caliber. So yeah, it was going to like, Pew, oh, dude, pew. Like shooting crack cans shot? everywhere. Yeah. I go, you guys want to see something crazy? Christine, you got your gun on you? <laughs> <laughs> With the fringy gloves? Yeah. <laughs> she goes, oh, my dad made, my dad made me go to this thing when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a champion shooter. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish you taught me how to shoot. I just really like have no... I, I, I If you put a gun in my hand, I'd be like, I, I don't know. I, how does this go? <laughs> Start sucking it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I always think it's funny when there's like small skills like a shooting champion like that. Like my yeah. mom, I found out, I found out my mom won uh, a um, ping pong championship <laughs> when she was like 12. She was like <laughs> the Fresno City or like Fresno County champion. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, We're Trish, little kids Trish uh, just handling it at 12 years old I thought that was so funny it's, a, it's a hilarious but also like little kids like the riding like on the sheep 
That's real big at the Western Stock Show when yeah, you go and, and call But a kid is really good at it. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so I can bring that up. Bring kids riding shoes. The little they're, kid. He's like, he's so, they always he's like like vibrating. Football helmets. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> dude, it's great. Mutton busting. Mutton busting. Mutton busting, yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, let's bring up some mutton <laughs> busting. We learned that term on Cleveland Show. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching them go bad? Yeah. <laughs> These kids eating it. We'll tweet it out at the bonfire SXM on Twitter. They all ride backwards. I think it's a better grip. That's thing. <laughs> oh, oh. Dude, that, that, these ones are they're taking dives. They're practicing karate moves on children. What the hell? Well, could we do? What is? Can we do a mutton busting equivalent? A mutton you guys bust? Ride some sheep? Yeah, but we, we can ride a mechanical. We can ride a mechanical bull. No, no, no. I'm talking about something like this. Look at that. That kid's grabbing on. You want to see me? You think I'm scared of shooting a gun, buddy? We need to see me trying to get on a horse or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, trample man. that bitch, dummy. Just feel the pure power of a lamb. I know the pure power of the leg. I'll of tell you what lamb. I'm going to do, Dan. I will ride lamb with you. Those, those we're lambs too big. will never do that to us. Yeah, we'll just pull them down. <laughs> Try it on well, some of your own size, lamb. Yeah, we're going to look like D lineman taking down a small running back. <laughs> God, <a little> slippery <laughs> some bitch, just choke it out. Slippery some bitch. Give me back my son. Where is he? <laughs> Where's my son? Give me back my son. Yeah, um, we'll do mutton busting. I have so many. We have so many things to talk about. I you don't do. want to stop, but we have to take breaks. We have so many commercials now because everyone See? loves us. Again. Okay. Everyone loves us again. What's up, buddy? Before you go to break, may I read a statement? Please, please. I would like to get through this sure. completely. Oh, shut up! I have mentioned this before on the show, but for many months now, I have become increasingly more sad about the continual loss of my beloved hair. Dan, Jay, I look at the hairs on my head like they're the Schindler Jews. They need saving. Okay. I need the Oscar Schindler of hair transplant surgeons to save my hair. The best transplants are the ones that nobody knows happened. I know that there are Hollywood hair transplant surgeons riding in their cars right now who are listening to this. (laughs) I am asking one of you to be selfless like Schindler and help me out. (laughs) Like Schindler, you wouldn't be doing it for the money because I have none. You wouldn't be doing it for the fame either. But nobody knew who Schindler was until the movie came out. And like Schindler, one day, when the story is written and the movie rights are sold, people will know about your act of kindness. I don't even know your names, yet your great work adorns the tops of politicians, musicians, even superheroes. But to me, you are the real heroes. Like the CIA, a life of anonymity is what you signed up for. You don't perform your great work for fame, just a fat check. And the world is a better place for it. I don't want you to be sitting in your Beverly Hills mansion five years from now with your trophy wife or husband next to you saying to yourself, I could have done something, but I chose to do nothing. Help someone who can't do it alone. Someone who needs your help specifically. And if this isn't enough motivation for you, I hope you'll remember the words spoken by Yitzhak Stern from the movie Schindler's List, who said... The hair is life. Thank you. Powerful. And I would like to thank Jay and Dan for allowing me the time to say that because I didn't, I didn't mean to hijack the show. No, I mean, I my, my one, my one to be concern would only be that uh, you implied that you were willing to let a broad doctor do that to your hair. But No, right, no, I did say that specifically. No, no. That's why I was concerned. Oh, I was no I'm kidding. I uh, I think yeah. Hair removal. 
Huh? I'll request that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Start channel's music again. Christine, now you do your thing for hair removal. I'm covered in hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From my belly button to my knees. You know, what I have a, There a is problem. too much. It looks like I have a Muppet <clears throat> in some sort of a chokehold with my legs. <laughs> um, let's take our first break. Let's Jacob, that was back. incredibly brave. It was very brave. It's going to happen. Mm, okay. Um... Good fucking good signal work, Jacob. Great You're signal back work. Back in the game, dude. You got you jumped right back into the game. We'll be right back, everybody. Danny's home. Hi. It's a bonfire. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM ninety five. Big J Okerson, triumphant return of Dan Soda. Today. Hey, how are you? So exciting to have you back, dude. It is fucking great to be here. Oh man, she really became gross, huh? We are looking up. Uh, Stop. Well, we're That's looking the up. Same person. Yeah, look we're looking Jay. up. Shauna Sand, who is. Uh, look at Jay over here throwing some. No, dude, I'm just doing my work. No, but I was look saying, at you were, but I was saying you were looking at her throwing some. Look at Guar. And doing a little. Oh, we need guar. Work. We'll get it. We'll get it down. We'll get it. It'll be it, not today. Yeah, we'll day just go. have guar on tap. We're looking at pictures of Shauna Sand, who is Lorenzo Lamas's ex. Who this is got also way <clears throat> crustier than we thought it was going to get. Yeah, Lorenzo. Uh, she is also. Um, dude, this got nuts. Uh, did you know this at all? I did not, and I. And I'm a real uh, llama's head. I know. I'm a llama. So- I'm a llama. So- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm a llama. La- I'm one of I'm one of Lorenzo's oils. Where was I when La- 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 uh, Lorenzo Lamas? La- what would you do? What would be the best? La- La- Lorenzo <laughs> Buddy, La- I don't know what happened, <laughs> but me and you're having the same stroke. Uh, Lorenzo Lamas is <laughs> tripping me up hard right now. <laughs> what if that's the main? That's the thing that fucking makes every human. Buddy. <laughs> uh, 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 before I forget it, also speaking of tripping up Lorenzo this Lamas. morning, yeah, this mor- feeling good. I went to the gym today. Dude, getting diesel felt felt good going. Get, and looking I was diesel, over, Jerry. I was listening to music in my headphones. Yeah, some th- I think maybe that song possibly okay. Okay. that we were just playing. It, walking through the streets of New York. So I'm stopped in the uh, bike area. You're getting you're giving fist pumps to random black dudes. No, just random uh, bang. You're just walking through. But but, <laughs> but sort of. Poppy, like what's up? I put I support my I put my Starbucks on a kind of a flimsy little plastic thing that comes up from the ground, sure. sort of like a bike lane surrounding thing, and light a cigarette. Doesn't fall. Pick up my thing again. Two girls stand right next to me, young girls, but one's wearing a half top Mm -hmm. with no bra for sure, and she runs across the street against the light. Okay. And like really froggers cars, which is crazy. Her friend's still kind of next to me, and then when the light turns, I just didn't realize that my foot was behind that plastic thing, so she's looking back waiting for her friend to come over, and all they both see is me. It was... I was amazing and also awful at the same time because I was certain I was going. I had to make a decision, roll forward or try to save yourself, try to save myself, and I did. I you did? Up, but I'm telling you, my nose almost hit the ground is how much almost over I was. So you went over and then you correct. Not how did like, you correct it? I just like try to keep my legs like moving fast enough to like get back under it. it really? I don't know was how a cartoon I felt. You know when like they have stacks and stuff and it's like... And like, do, 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 like running, is that how it was? Hands never even touched the ground. Wow, no scrapes. No, I was wait. Able- so your head dipped, and then you walked. And my nose didn't almost hit the ground, but, but you I'm walked. Tell- up, but I'm you telling walked you, under it. nose didn't almost hit the ground. But I'm. I promise you. I mean, I was falling, so I was definitely over. It, it would have been. A I worse, wasn't ninety degrees. For it would have sure. been worse if you saved yourself, and then you just heard that hot girl go. Did you see that guy almost fall? Oh, buddy, like, I bet they fucking pissed their pants laughing. Yeah. Uh, they should have. I looked ridiculous. Yeah. But I saved my Starbucks, but it was all over my hand, and all you can do when uh, you get up from that is kind of like, by the way, I, I'm walking next to the friend, basically, so yeah. I'm getting there at the same time, and all you can kind of do is that, I still have music playing, but I'm just doing the, I don't know what they're saying, but I'm doing the, Jesus <laughs> God, you blame even. it. You blame it on someone else. Not I, even. Just like Jesus. No, I didn't blame anybody. Just kind of like the. Oh, what's, yeah. Whoa. Huh. I have been on both <laughs> sides of it, but I always laugh whenever I remember it happened a lot when I'd be really hungover and I was going away tables and I'd have my Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I'd run up the 51st Street 
uh, six stop. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd run up the stairs in a certain way just because I wanted to get ahead of the crowd. And I'd slip sometimes and like smack down on the ground. And I remember one time just coffee going all over my arm. And you're like, yeah. Ah, what? It's like hot, but you can't act like it's really hot. And you're like, oh, 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 I should hot, hit a hospital, huh? Hot, hot. Should probably hit a hot. This thing stop at a hospital or a burn unit, maybe. Yeah, my whole sleeve is just <laughs> coated in fucking coffee. But I've seen people fall, right? Mm-hmm. And then they get up and they look at you, and you and you know they're okay, and you want to give like the that's funny, right? That's fun that we're laughing about that. And some people are like, no, they just keep going. But I always laugh if someone sees it, I'll give them like a. I'll give them the beginning of a sitcom laugh. I'll be like, "You saw me fall." <laughs> I felt like a like a boob for like <laughs> but you fifteen seconds. But, but it you was... rebounded. You looked great. No, I rebounded. But that rebound girls. does not look. That rebound. There are did, new producers. <laughs> that rebound did not look great. It wasn't a good. Re- it was a miraculous rebound. <laughs> you also had your headphones on, so you don't know what noise we're making. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, You don't know what you're making with your headphones on. You're like, no, 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 fall, no fall. No words for sure, but definitely probably. That girl's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> perfect car- cartoon noises, Lou Whitsky. Whoa, 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 Black Lou, whoa. perfect cartoon. The Lou's on the ones and twos. Oh, drunk DJ Lou has to have some fault, like an idiot story in, in front of people. Oh, man. I t- one time, Artie Fuqua introduced me to these two Australian girls. This mm-hmm. was in like 2011, maybe earlier, maybe 2010. Hammered. And we're like, hey, you know how Artie's like, you know, like, this is, yeah. this is. And these two Australian girls, and they're like, do you want to come back and, like, have bees in a, a hotel? And I was blackout drunk, and I was smoking a cigarette on their patio. And they're in the kitchen, and I was like, hey. And there was just a glass table right there, and the edge just fucking nailed me in the shin. So I kind of spun out and fought. <laughs> and I <felt> like, <laughs> boom. And I fucking hard impact. And just got up, and I was like, huh, I guess <laughs> I felt it on my shit. Oh, I must have probably pay for that, huh? <laughs> yeah. ah. But I was also hammered. Yeah. So I was just like, what's up? What are you guys doing? Fuck. Fuck. You were going to suck your wiener, but it looks oh, like you got yourself. Oh, no. You took a tumbo. <laughs> no, I don't know why they're English all of a sudden. Because I started doing English. <laughs> Maybe because we're accent. throwing shade. Oh, look at Gua. <laughs> That's almost better. We'll okay. get the guar thing. Yeah, we're going to get the guar you're pushing, thing. You're pushing it too hard. <clears throat> you, you know what, dude? I'm just trying to make it work, bro. Are you putting bud, pressure bro? on That was a bro. I, I see the loose start getting pressure. I called I you like a it. mix of bro and bud. Brud? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? you DJ Lou? No, man. We're good. Oh, you <laughs> brought the mic over to you. I thought you were saying something. You were just getting away from Black Lou. Real nice. Cool. <laughs> Way to limit his speech. Way to marginalize somebody. Good job, dude. That's really cool, dude. Really nice. I bet Sirius loves that shit. Yeah, I bet they love it. Just they love that. This is America, huh? By the way, a white man (laughs) taking away black loose. Let me tell you what this. Let me tell you what this super bright lighting in this uh, room is doing today. What? Oh, you mean you mean here in Hot Rock Island? Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Just like lizards on their hot rock. (laughs) Hot Rock Studio. I'll say what just happened. Can I explain what people what just happened? It's very funny. Oh, yeah. So we made that joke about DJ Lou being shitty to Black Lou by marginalizing him. And uh, Black Lou then pantomime doing like shade, almost trying to subliminally get one of us to do it because he is now currently ready with Guar that I can see that in the reflection of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're like a good safety. <laughs> yeah. You're like Ed Reed. You would have picked that off. You read that whole thing. I just, he, just, he went, and yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was like, and I looked at the thing and I saw Guar. I was like, oh, he's got Guar ready now. Uh, and yeah. like, do it when uh. I'm ready. And by the way, he's saying it's right. Do it when I'm ready, motherfucker. This is what yeah. he was trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Like, fucking don't. Now don't I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. If you guys are going to do it, Stop do it springing now. it on me. I thought Listen, the whole thing was over. I want to keep them on. I like keeping our whole crew on our toes. Absolutely. Let's. That's uh, why I sleep during the breaks. I wake up. I don't know what happened. Bring back the uh, the Shauna Sand stuff. So that is his ex wife. One of his five wives. You said Christine. Fifth wife. He said fifth and final. I mean, we're calling him a dork, but uh, this guy's no. He was always a heartthrob, but like in the dork way. And then Lorenz. And then Renegade was when it got more. It was like you know scruffy. Like he was like a young. Uh, Sam Elliott from Roadhouse. Got it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember running. He went to that like, rugged thing. That's why I was making the correlation mm-hmm. with Opie from, you know what I mean? It's Sons a guy who went from like yeah. a clean cut. Do you don't remember him in Greece, dude? No. 
He's the guy that Sandy starts dating. Grease 2? Grease 2? No. Remember when Sandy... Oh, Lorenzo yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamas is in Grease 1? I didn't know that either until Jay said it here, but I looked it up. Oh, my yeah. God. I didn't know that was Lorenzo Lamas. Yeah, oh he's God. hanging out. He's hanging out with her. Yeah, remember? And then Danny Zuko's running. You tell me he's talking Renegade went to Rydell? Actually, they go to a uh, dance together, and she walks away. But Sandy actually treats Lorenzo Lamas pretty shitty, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, she, you know, yeah. I bet she didn't know he was going to end up being a rugged renegade. Oh, she probably had no idea he was going to be a renegade. She probably had no idea he was a bounty hunter later in life. Look at that son bitch. That's what you did, Sandy. Oh, That's what your Travolta. Australian vagina did to Lorenzo Lamas. Turn him into a fucking out, an outside bounty hunter. Jacob, take this uh, also about your hair. Speaking of your hair, mm-hmm. here, buddy. I don't know if you saw... Well, Lynn said it didn't, wasn't the MTV, that bad. The MTV Awards, which were preposterous. <laughs> John Travolta came out finally accepting his baldness. Completely bald. Mega handsome. Way better than he's looked with fake hair for years. Way He looks fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, he does look good. Travolta looks great with a shaved head. He looks better than Pitbull, but you are not a Pitbull, dude. You're not, not a Pitbull. I would look. You are Travolta, bro. Mr. Worldwide. Like you said. Mr. Worldwide. Look how, look how doofy that looks. Yeah, it looks crazy. So, I think it looks Mr. good. Mr. Worldwide. It doesn't look good. It looks fake and doofy. That looks very fake. Look how good he looks with a bald head. Yeah, that's him. Be you, John Travolta. That looks crazy. Can I ask you about the VMAs? Was it that, was the, it that the, the audience sucked? Because they seem like they're incapable of laughing at anything. <sighs> no, it's just the whole thing. It's, it's just everyone's on guard about calling a fat person fat or whatever, you know, like whatever thing it is. And the safe space thing. Sebastian talked about it with you? He did. What did he say? Um, yeah, listen to the P and Sebastian <laughs> show. Oh, 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 Way to throw some. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> that is not. I do believe it's almost done. Oh, look at Gua. Perfect, Blackwood. Well, I'll tell you what. Dude, if if I were you, though, as someone who uh, is a producer for that show as well, you think that you might give us a little taste so people would know what to go look for. You're Good just talk. saying names. Why don't you give them a little taste and do a little work? <laughs> look at Gua. Look at Gua. Oh, look at Gua. Um, Lorenzo Lamas. We keep getting so yeah. sidetracked. This is crazy. Christine brought up the story from 2015. Mm-hmm. But the booted, he was on Celebrity I don't know how I didn't know this. Uh, talks to Wendy Williams about an affair. My wife destroyed me by having, uh, what does it say? What's the full headline? My son and ex-wife destroyed me by having sex. It's like you know, a for real porn. This is on the Wendy Williams show. He's saying this. Wendy Williams show. Sidebar, we will not get into this right now because I need a week of this. But yeah. next week, I am guaranteeing Jacob, jot this down. <laughs> jot this down, Jacob. And Dan says he's got he's got to be a little, but I, he, we got to do this. You know, Jerry O'Connell has taken over for several weeks uh, on for Wendy Williams while she's, I guess, I don't know, in rehab, right? Yeah, she's for Coke. She's trying to get her eye, her face to grow out over her eyes again. <laughs> she had too much blow. They breached. The eyes breached. The eyes breached. And she has Jerry O'Connell taking over. And he looks like he's doing a racist impression of a black woman, and he's not. He's just being, it's insane. Mm-hmm. It's insane, and we need an entire show. We need an entire show. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, well, if you're going to do this, give him a taste then. I laugh, no, no. Man. I want to see him coming out. It's got to be in his entrance. Uh, we need to. We have agreed. Jay, and I, Jay was showing me this, and we agreed that we need to do a whole bonfire like it's morning television. Yeah, we have to do a whole bonfire. <laughs> I mean, come on, I mean, come out like that. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Dude, we got to do a whole bonfire where it's just like a whole. It, the, our whole audience is your moms. It's it's insulting. Pause it. Wow. Pause it. You know what it is? It's like in a movie when um when like when there's something crazy going on, but they're like, "This is your shot. You got to go out in front of the cameras." And he's like, <laughs> "Fucked up." And he's like, "But don't you understand the f- the f- the fungos in my blood? It's gonna make me act weird." And like it's like Nutty Professor. <laughs> this like, is his hands gonna get all fat. Like it's like blah, blah, blah. and he's like, "I finally got my TV show." That's the way he's acting. This is more offensive than blackface in a play. 
Like when people come on blackface in the play and people get yeah. mad about that. Bro, this is far more offensive than that. Well, we'll we got all week next week. Yeah, get it off the screen and go back to Lorenzo Lamas. Lorenzo Lamas, we're going to finish this up. So here's the, so going to read this. Here. Yeah, the two. Th- uh, this is a quote from Lorenzo Lamas. This is what he told Wendy Williams in 2015. The two things that my son and ex-wife decided to do was to have an event that they both knew was going to hurt me to the core of my being, and it was successful. It absolutely destroyed me emotionally. What does that mean? I couldn't talk to my son for two years. They had an event? Did they throw on a fucking music festival? (laughs) (laughs) The fuck does that mean, event? Did they fuck, or did they go on a business venture? First of all, his autobiography is called Renegated Heart. Yeah! Yeah! What a dork. Oh, man. (laughs) What a (laughs) great name for a fucking Renegated Heart. Take the year off. Look, You're most successful. And but Lorenzo Lamas, one thing you gotta say, old or young, always had great teeth. But you know, most people are brushing their teeth all wrong. What? Yeah. Lorenzo Lamas. Back to Lorenzo Lamas. So his wife and his ex wife and his son. No, she denies it. Or at least she, she denied it. it in two thousand nine. Uh four years after he threw that oh. to hit me, <laughs> you get the shade. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you say your ex-wife is having <laughs> sex with your stepson? You're showing shame. Look at Guam. And we also found out that she's a really boring lay. Dude, oh play my God. Yeah, this is... Wait, 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 wait. So this is her... This is her sex tape. Mm-hmm. It's not a sex tape. She made... Yeah, she just agreed to a Well, it was out. a sex tape through Vivid, so it's like... She, it's gr- like she got $250,000 for it and spent it on a Bentley. But where's that coming from? From Lorenzo Lamas. No, he's, he's a little sour grapes. But then it also says... So apparently he put out a thing saying she's like an unfit mother who likes to make sex tapes and all that. And she's no. like, well, well, you were... She's like, well, when you were with me, you wanted me to do it. What? So he came up like the sex tapes and stuff. Uh-huh. Like when they were together, he was all into it. And now that they're not together, he's like, she's a whore and an unfit mother. Well, she's doing p- professional porn, though. Yeah. He would, no, she's, all he right, was she's okay talking. with Hold it. on. See what she says right there. It looks like she's going, pretty good, huh? It's a nice couch. Go back about 15 seconds. Oh, wait, they, seconds. were they together when she made this porno? Yeah, he said that she, he was, she said he was okay with her making sex tapes as long as it paid the bills. Weird. Look at the renegade. Can we the get time the line? Goes that up, sorry. Man, she really does just lay Go there back. and accept. She says dick. something. I keep trying to get Christine. To, but Christine's right back here. No, yeah, let's play it there. She looks so bored. She, is, she says something. Oh, listen to this shitty techno in the back. Oh, hilarious. I, why would they have it so you can't hear? <laughs> wow, what shitty music. By the way, that's not soundtrack. That's blaring in the room they're fucking in. Face. Who's that guy? has got pumpkin teeth. He's like, yar. Yar. <laughs> 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 it looks like they're just all plastic. That looks, this is the worst sex tape I've ever seen. God damn, that really looks boring. Is. That's really boring. Oh, they move. Oh, they move to a different, is there a different techno playing? Oh, then it's just her, like... Oh, haagen Oh, haagen Man, look at her. Why is her pussy dangle like that? What did you do? Just loose lips? Oh. No, it's not what that is. She's so, like, just, like, skinnied out. That's what it is. What is she... Like, this her, is the only... like, like, ah. her, her, like, next to her pussy should be ah. fuller. Ah. Not, not, oh, looks like it's. she's trying to put cum back in his dick. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to open your pee hole. I'm going to have to get to the funnel. Like, I'm going to get the funnel. She goes, it's like a super soaker. What? <laughs> Man, she did, she oh, to... it's getting all in his foreskin. Ew. Foreskin. <laughs> God, her tits are just so old and washed up. That it really is a... Uh, Damn yeah. I would have never guessed she was such a beauty with the way her face looks now. But she was, right? You look. She pictures. was really like a gorgeous chick. She probably would have aged well if she hadn't and fucked they just herself can't, up. They it just looks can't, like they an can't alien handle sex that going away. They just can't handle. Well, it going they grab away. onto it. If it's all they have, they can't handle it. Rage going away against the all. dying of the light. And Rage. Dot dot dot. Here we are. Jacob's getting a hair transplant. And there is boom. You're gonna have a whole yeah. fucking head of hair. You're gonna look like Lorenzo Lamex, the uh, renegade. Jacob, why don't you listen to what we're talking to you instead of spank back in this video on the well, screen? Does, this does nothing for me. Um, the girls. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Lorenzo Lamas claims his ex-wife is an unfit mother who has sex on the beach in front of 
Photogs is deep into making sex tapes and let strange men live in the house she shares with their daughters. <laughs> Dude, strange men is just funny. Where he's like, she's hey. killing it. He goes, "How you doing? I'm Cliff. Uh, I'm into <laughs> body dysmorphia <laughs> art and uh, art. <laughs> yeah, I do art, but uh, your your mom said I could crash in the basement as long as I walk around in a loincloth." <laughs> Lorenzo's in a brutal fight with Shauna Sand over custody of their three kids. Lorenzo says uh, Shauna is so irresponsible she made $250,000 off a sex tape for Vivid, then blew the money on a Bentley. He also submitted screen grabs of the porn for good measure. Oh, but come when on. Have you, ever, have you ever felt that? What year is this from? Have you ever felt the leather inside a Bentley, though, dude? That's pretty nuts. It's Butchery. Like, it's like sitting on baby... Butchery. It's 2014. It's like sitting on baby butt. Butchery. For uh, she says it was sexing. It was a montage for a yeah, French that. magazine. Oh, but forty-three-year-old Shauna, who's in the doc, who says in the docs she's pregnant, claims Lorenzo is a hypocrite. When they were married, she said he encouraged her to make sex tapes, saying he was down with it as long as it paid the bills. What happened to all that fucking Renegade money? It was a montage for a French ma- Renegade money. Yeah. Dude, that was the old uh, WB network. Or was UP, that or, or was UPN? it UPN? I thought it was on. It was on UPN. It was on. It was with Viper. Remember Viper? Yeah, sort of. Where Dodge made a whole fucking show about a car. <laughs> Viper. Look up Viper. Look up Viper trailer. Uh, Look at too far. Also, this, I pray our daughters will not take after their mom. Look, that's. I pray what. I pray that our daughters will not take off after their mother and think that posing for the camera nude while performing sexual acts is an acceptable way to earn a living. That's got to be... You could talk to them. I just think, here's the thing, exactly, as he got older, he wanted to, like, have, like, young, uh, like, piggish chicks, I guess, and Mm -hmm. then, like, would keep going, you know what I mean? And then he's, like, mad at her for being exactly what she (laughs) was. What? Yeah, she came as advertised. Is that the whole article? I'll tell you what, I can't, I, to be so sour grapes over a girl yeah. who fucks like that seems to be a waste of time. Seems he's real bitter. Seems the old renegade's pretty bitter about that one. Yeah. Is that how he stayed in shape, just fucking that log? She mm-hmm. was useless. She's just like, huh? That guy was just getting a great core workout. The guy that was banging her, he's like, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, twelve, real good rhythm. thirteen. The girls all wrote letters to the judge begging him to give their dad custody. Oh, wow. fuck. <laughs> She's only 43? Yowzers. Jesus, dude. But well, that, that was 2014. So, so she's... Four, oh, please bring up a, the most current picture of her possible. 48 now? Yeah. <coughs> Man, when you're all your kids are like, please... I don't understand how judges get those letters, you know? They're like, please let us live with our dad. And they're like, no, I gotta give you the mom. Sorry. <laughs> Mama bear. Ugh. Meanwhile, she's just, I feel bad for those kids. They have to listen to that shitty techno in the house while she's getting railed out by some surfer with pumpkin teeth. Oh, God. He's I got, think this is... Oh, God. And apparently her husband strangled her? Cool. Oh. Shauna Sands claims husband strangled and then threatened to kill her in drug-fueled rage. And this is from 2019, hot off the presses. How can you make her look good in porn now? Shauna Sand is headed for another divorce. And this time, she's... Cla- I like to do this with the Entertainment Tonight energy. This time, she's claiming her current husband strangled her and threatened to kill her in a drug-fueled rage. Also... Guess whose birthday it is today? Yeah. <laughs> you go, boy, can she pick him. And, oh, well, looks like Shauna Sand is headed for a divorce she, court again. She doesn't do porn or anything anymore, right? It, it, looks you couldn't like she, it looks like she's doing it, and it looks like they just really airbrush the shit out of her. Oh, did she do this. any videos called, like, uh, I've, I'm banging a broom? No, but that's the old, old one. That's just the is one. Is that the old, old one? Only, I, think there, looks, I think there's only one. Well, there's a few... Click to play the leaked Shauna Yeah, that's different. Sand. Yeah, you can't. She can't do them now at all. It's just weird when you uh, that like lifestyle. Could you? Could our? Could you guys properly capture her on camera? No way. Step Corey, there's not a chance. Too much light on this one. You need this one in dark. She really is just like a really skinny lady with bad fake tits. Poor lady. It, it doesn't look like terrible there as much as just <laughs> shouldn't have gotten That's how good the renegade the guy, is in the sack. When you it drives see, you nuts. Yeah, when you see the guy grab her like torso skin, it looks like at some point her skin like unzips in the back or something. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> oh. how it's just like it's she's like slim. Oh, you're saying like it moves along. And she's never been fat, but her skin now is just like it's like socks. 
It's like it moves like a sock over your ankle. It's like foreskin. Yeah, like she's she's she, uncircumcised. She's her whole body. Her uncircumcised. body's uncircumcised. Look how hot she was. Yeah, she was fucking crazy. Then Lorenz, Lorenzo Lamas yeah, turned her nuts. I'm gonna fuck your kid. I'm gonna fuck your kid and wreck shit. As long as it pays the bills. He goes, you want bounty hunting ain't paying the bills like it used to, babe. Hold on, let me put my t- ponytail up. <laughs> um, you want to take our second break? Let's take our second break. Let's. Oh yeah, we'll come back with a. We'll have a nice uh, new episode of Have You Seen This Yet? Oh, that's the Beezer It's everyone's Kyla. favorite new segment. Movie premiere. Uh, movie premiere is uh, produced by Shane Gillis and uh, Kyle and Beezer. And they uh, absolutely... Oh, before we go to break, can I get, I'm going to give a birthday shout. Do it. Here to somebody. It's a, a fan. Uh, camper. <clears throat> It'd be funny if it wasn't a camper. It's to Raymond. Lady I just met... met. Randomly at the airport, his uh his wife Janine uh reached out and I wanted to give him a happy birthday. I'm gonna say this, uh, happy birthday first of all, Raymond. Thank happy you birthday. so much. Thank you and Janine for uh, listening to the show. I'm gonna ask almost in a in a beg of mercy, please. No one else asked me to do that. I feel obligated to do it if you send it. I don't know where to cram it into the show. We don't have a birthday segment. Unless... I was like, are we going to go, uh, full, are we gonna, are we gonna go full, like, Corbin? Happy birthday to Oh, you. no. I thought we were going to do an entertainment tonight where it's like, welcome back. It's camper birthday time. <laughs> this camper turned 36 and he works at Sears. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sean. Uh, Raymond, Janine loves you. She, she does. Went, she went above and she beyond. She threatened Jay's life. She threatened my life. To get this on. She showed me a picture of my child and said, sleeping. do you sleeping. love her <laughs> sleeping? Your daughter. At rests. her house. At her house. You should know your daughter rests very peacefully, Jason. <laughs> now, my, Have, my husband Raymond's birthday is on Tuesday. And would you please just just say something? Mention it. Just say something. Um, it was very sweet of her to do that. Uh, happy birthday, Raymond. Let's take our second break. We'll be right back. It's, it's the bonfire. We damn right so. Damn right it is. Run the jewels. The bonfire. Run the jewels four is supposed to be coming out soon. Produced by Rick Rubin. Yeah. No. 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 Is it Killer Mike? Yeah, Killer Mike and LP. On their fourth album, supposed to be coming out soon. It is the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM ninety five. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Joe Okerson. And it's, it's good to va- be home in the United States. It's good to be more importantly, it's good to be back on the Bonfire. If you're vaping right now, put it down, dude. Put it down. We just saved your life. We just there you go. Well, or just might as well smoke it out because you've already signed your death warrant. There you go. CDC, those dorks in Atlanta, uh, warning against vaping after mysterious spike in lung illnesses. We've all vaped in here. See a lot of vaping all, in we, Scotland. No, more cigarette smoking. More cigarette smoking. There yeah. were vapes, but way more cigarette smoking in the UK than uh, I mean. I could have just been in a. That was like where I was, but in a vapeless town in a vapeless Edinburgh. We don't let vaping in. We'll let smoking in. Smoking indoors in places. No, no, no. There was, Nowhere. No, they were smoking cigarettes though. I thought it was a cave people there. I gotta go travel. <laughs> you gotta travel, dude. Is vaping legal in the UK? Because I feel like when I go to can't like you can't buy them in Canada. I don't think. Uh, you couldn't buy like jewels at like uh, the Seven Eleven and stuff. Public health officials are. Do you warned- say they made them uh, run the jewels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but fucking quip walk. It's nothing. And run the jewels. You did it with me. <laughs> no, I like that. <laughs> Public health officials are warning against using e-cigarettes and other vaping products after a surge in mysterious respiratory illnesses that have been linked back to vaping. The CDC, uh, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, issued an advisory that includes the recommendation that while this investigation is ongoing, if you are concerned about these specific health risks, consider refraining from the use of e-cigarette products. So you got it. Light those cigarettes back up, baby. Time to go back to tobacco. So it's so it's not so much the the advisory which was issued this past Friday notes that as of August the 27th, vapes. there were 215 possible caught cases from 25 states of lung disease which may be tied to vaping. Not just uh, tobacco or uh, nicotine, also uh, marijuana and. I wonder how many. CBD. Uh, and is, is it mostly underage people? I bet because that's what uh, I was talking to Isabel about this the other day. She said there was a couple of kids. I don't know. Many cases. She patients. saw some story. She saw some story. This is about the exploding. Oh, let's talk about thing. that. That's fucking. Cool. 
crazy. But Isabella they said that uh, there was something they were, they were showing or telling them at their school there was like two girls and somewhere that they found like spots on their lungs from a. That's crazy. Well, she from, said somebody died of nicotine poisoning too. Someone died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, what happened to finding your dad's shotgun and killing your neighbor? Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw. <laughs> she. Look at Gua. Look at Gua. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a gradual start. What are the symptoms? Uh, in many Bre- cases, oh, you know, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read it because I have already got all. Including breathing of them. difficulty, shortness of breath, chest pain. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Thank sorry. You. Mild to moderate gastrointestinal, oh, yeah. including vomiting and diarrhea mm, every day. Do you got the trots? I feel nauseous and I got the trots. You have the you have the, you have the you got the shits. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, I do, Dan. But yet, still, I come to work. Oh. Look at wall. Look at wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, uh, we smoked a lot of weed vape in here, so it made me a little nervous. Vaping has became a nationwide, nationwide it's gotta issue. Be, it's got to be something to do with what you're vaping, though. My smartest friend, Brian, who is a marijuana, <laughs> who's a marijuana lawyer in Colorado. He's That's the great guy, thing to say. Yeah, he's, he's, the, uh, he is the smartest person I know my whole life. He was the one that I did mushrooms with when I was 16, and he just explained to me what was happening while we ate the mushrooms, like scientifically. He's like, the psilocybin's in your stomach lining right now. It's going to open your retina and your eye, allowing more light in. He's like, distance and shade. And we were 16, and it was happening. I know, but I bet if you were like, uh, like, what is the solar eclipse exactly? I don't know. I still no. don't do with getting whacked. He uh, he's legitimately intelligent. Also, I wouldn't like shit. that anyway. He goes the THC is making its way into your lungs, it's filling yeah. them, it's filling them with the smoke. You're dying. <laughs> <laughs> A piece of you is never coming back. But what he said about when, when vaping first started, I remember in 2014 when I like got weed vapes in Colorado. I asked him, I was like, "Is this is this bad?" And he's like, "Well, no one really knows the science behind it right now." And I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like. <laughs> It's probably not good for you. And he he gave me a scientific explanation that was over my head that I was just kind of like, that made me nervous. And he's like, yeah, no one knows what this thing is yet. He's like, pumping water vapor into your lungs isn't a good idea? He goes, yeah. Yeah, or some medical mumbo jumbo goes, like that. Anyway, you can read that on the back of a box. <laughs> Anyways, you can, take this, you can take this G-bong or what, buddy? I got this deep rock bottle full <laughs> to the brim. A good old American smoke. Hey. Trade on the vaping industry. That's right, vaping industry. It's time to throw shade. Look at Wall. Look at Wall. I want to be a fucking like a use it as a weapon. Oh, like Mortal Kombat two. Utah teen will never no, touch vape again after coma, lung disease. Oh God! What's the movie. It might be. I think it's Revenge of the Ninja. Dan. Yeah, I'm looking where at the a sad fan, girl. We use a fan and cuts off. One half of a guy's mustache. I'm yeah. saying in Mortal Kombat 2, one of the ladies had fans. But more importantly to me, it's taking off someone's half a mustache with a fan. More importantly to me, revenge it's taking the ninja. out Liu Kang or Scorpion or Sub-Zero, depending on who your opponent chooses. Can you find Revenge of the Ninja fan? Can you find out Mortal Kombat 2? <laughs> Katana. Katana. Yeah, thank you. Because I always used her. There you go, Christine. And that's oh. not throwing shade. That's throwing... Knowledge. That's good. Yeah. That means Dan's got the video game knowledge of a chick. Bitch, what? Word. What? <laughs> What's the name of the game? Mortal Kombat revenge 2. No, you know. No, Revenge of the Ninja. That's not a game. No, that ain't a game. Fancy. You think that's a game? It's you a think movie. It's a fucking game? Do you not like our fans anymore, Jacob? I like your fans. All right, stop yelling at me. Yeah. Are you mad that those scientists have called in to help your head? What's your problem with the fans, dude? I have no problem with them. You feel better because you never vaped. You're looking at us like a bunch of suckers. Be, I've never vaped. You fucking... You wanted to the whole time. You I'm going to live forever. <laughs> you're gonna live, yeah, you're, you're indestructible. <laughs> Producing an empty room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone's died from vape. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because vaping, uh, vape. vaping was a good solution at first because you could just do it in person. You could do it in public oh, and not I get caught. When you smoke f- weed, it stinks. Yeah. It stinks real bad. When you vape, you can just vape in like the middle of Times Square and no one catches you. Yeah, but I don't know if it's I, I, I don't know if it's the concept of vape. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really seem to make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? What's the? I think it's got to be in with something in the nicotine packets. You're yeah. saying the ones that are hurting people? Yeah, I mean maybe it's all of them. I just don't. I couldn't get what the science would be behind like the action of vaping something mm-hmm. versus what what it is you're putting well, in your the lungs. chemicals. I think you're putting. 
I don't know. Right. Well, the whole idea from the Begecko was that it was water vapor only. Was that a problem? Water. Water vapor? Water vapor. Yeah, you know water vapor? Hey, oh, we didn't. Oh, it says I had. We'll get to it. I had fat particles growing inside my lungs that were related to the glycerin in vape juice. Glycerin. Play Bush. Yeah. Jacob's making. uh, Fat particles in their lungs. I need you tonight. uh, (laughs) I need you to. Oh, man. Hold on. Let's get some Gavin Rosdale while you start talking about all this glycerin in the lungs. I wish you wouldn't vape. Go back to smoke. I'm talking to you. I'm a sexy guy who dances like a goof. (laughs) You big oof. (laughs) Did we watch him dance? Yeah, we watched him. Yeah. Sure okay. did. Where's? Do we not have glycerin? We sure yeah. shit did. We can't get it. We can't figure it. out. God, this new system blows. This is Series six We can't figure out how to play music. This new system it trips me up blows. every time. That's why they loop that I shit three months too. in advance. Fuck yeah, Christine. Oh, you found this. But you never quite found Revenge of the Ninja fan scene. I can't find the fan scene, but I did find Revenge of the Ninja. J throw You must be the sound. You can't smoke inside. You know, walk well, out. I guess. Long story short, glycerin. don't vape. Don't vape, or else you get this in your lungs. You don't want this in your lungs, glycerin. <laughs> she said. So then, my lungs were full of fluid. They said that my chest X-rays were one of the worst they'd ever seen. Ah. It seems like inhaling water vapor would give you pneumonia or something like the whole thing, like fluid in your lungs. <laughs> It's not well, my professor, time you tell me. I don't know. To wonder why everything I'm right. Now I'm okay. Fatty deposits on my lungs. You're smoking me up, and I'm slowly killing you. This is mint chocolate chip flavored vape. <laughs> Have you ever had orange sherbet? Don't let the days go by. Oh man, I love this album. I'm really starting to miss my family. Yeah. I'm wheezing a lot. Well, don't vape. So there it is. Don't vape, everyone. We stop vaping. Jerry's out. We stop vaping in America. So are we just never quitting smoking now? Nope, because we're ripping butts. Glenn in California is saying the companies put trash into those vapes. Remember the lead they used to put in Chinese toys way back when? Yeah, I used to eat those. <laughs> I, uh, oh my God, my favorite <laughs> snack? Oh, you mean my childhood snack? When he says trash, well, I'll take the call. Hang on. You got it? You guys got it? You want me to get it? <laughs> Glenn and Callie. What's up, buddy? You're on the bonfire. When you say... Right on. What's up, buddy? When you right say on, trash right into on. these vapes, what do you mean? Just like, just junk chemicals and shit. Yeah, just junk chemicals. You know these, like, like okay, some of them, like Juul and whatever, they're probably pretty reputable. And all the companies that do the pot all the marijuana stuff, if you get it from the actual uh, store that is legal to sell it, you're probably okay. But then again, it also could just be the metal that they use to make the vaporizer itself, because that, that's a little iffy too, right? Yeah, so I should never even thought about that. You really are sucking on like that metal it doesn't get hot somehow. I feel like if I worked with it, Glenn it, and it, we it had this does. conversation, I would go home nervous. You know, if like yeah. Glenn and I were smoking a cigarette and I was like, did you hear Rory's out? Cause he's fucking, it was vaping. And he's like, I heard there was garbage in it. And I drive home and my wife would be like, Dan, are you okay? And I'd be like, I don't know, man. Glenn really got in my head. It's saying the vape flavors can make nasty new chemicals in your e-liquid. I can only assume the flavors. And then also people will get them from, I know people who like order like overseas. They get them because you, yeah, you can get like a case of it. You want for, cherry Hennessy from North Korea? I mean, no <laughs> shit. Yeah, really. <laughs> What yeah. a terrible flavor. Cuttlefish? Yeah. Cuttlefish. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. You can try all the flavors over there. It's like it's like Japanese Kit Kats. They just have like the different ones. You ever had uh, ketchup flavored vape? Yeah. <laughs> Green tea salmon. Oh, my, or uh, per, my personal favorite, horseradish chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I got him on the black market. What a fucking awful Bacon thing. peanut butter? He goes, I don't want to fucking vape that. <laughs> Why am I vaping that? Have you ever vaped... Uh, have you ever vaped... Salisbury bana- steak? Banana <laughs> flavors that are just fucking gross. Banana... Succotash? Po- banana potpourri? <laughs> and you go, oh, I don't, know, I don't want any of this. <laughs> Star fruit? Oh, dude, you got to try my new uh, yeah, <laughs> cod. I have cod, I have cod <laughs> vaping. <laughs> <laughs> ha- fried haddock. <laughs> Get in there. We got some good vape. We have uh, we have cold steel. 
Oh, pickled pig's feet for the southern gentleman in you. Oh, okay. You order them for a southern gentleman? If you are a, uh, if you have any Inuit blood, we have <laughs> blubber flavor. <laughs> blubber. <laughs> which you can order in over. Flaming blubber. Which you can order in over 50 different words. <laughs> An extra flaming bubble of blubber. <laughs> Look at us throwing shirts. Who's, who's breaking the, our fan Me. first? Because you are. Come dang on. it, man. <laughs> I'm letting it, I'm letting I that, finesse. I'm letting that chopper sing. I finesse. I get it to come out fit, but I do a little pullback, so it gives it a little, oh. little bounce. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I get it. I just rip it. Grip it and rip it. Grip and rip. Um, yeah. Yeah. You smoked, uh, what did you smoke, Jules? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've always had fat lungs. Mm-hmm. It's no big deal. Um, <laughs> big J, you're fine. Let's, before we, should we, we have to take one more break, or should we ride it out? We can take one more. You want to take, why? Well, do we have to take one more? <sighs> fine. I guess we don't. I've read all my reads. I want to okay. know about Black Lou's how about we'll vacation eat, well, how about in, we'll in New, we, New Hampshire. We start late, so it's, we'll be fine. Black Lou went into the fucking, into the depth of white. Well, so we break Lou, up. Lou went into the whitest place possible, New Hampshire. Should we break up telling the story before telling the story? Why don't we take a break and we'll come back and we'll hear about uh, White Lou and Get Out too? Well, let's have let's go to break with every America's new favorite segment. Yo, you out. seen this yet? <laughs> it's not a commercial for Yo, you seen this yet? It's a bit that we do now where Kyler, Kyla, of course, Kyla Fox and Brian <coughs> Six. Review movies. Brian Six going to be uh, op- he's going to be featuring for me at uh, Helium in Philly in two weeks. Oh weeks. hell yeah, dude! The nineteenth to the twenty first. Um, keeping it always as Philly as possible. This is Yo, you seen this yet? Reviewing the original Shining. And now it's time for Yo, have you seen this yet? With Beezer and Kyla. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Yo, this movie is confusing as fuck. I generally don't like creepy or super scary movies, and I really don't like soundtracks that are just straight up menacing tones. And guess what? Literally first second of the movie are these super sinister menacing ass tones. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy who directed the moon landing. Just a heads up, there's going to be spoilers in this review. Jack Nicholson is some author that can't write for shit. It's just the same sentence over and over. And I'm like, yo, this book's going to fucking suck, dude. Then you got the wife. She's all weird. I don't know. She's always in the bathroom taking long ass dumps or something. At one point, she's in there so long, Jack's got to take a goddamn accident door. He's all like, yo, here's John. What the hell are you doing in here? Would you clog? The dad, Jack, turns full nutty so fast. One night, Jack gets all tuned up. I mean, he tries to fuck some oldie mum mum. This old bag got a couple tits that look like microwave road cones. Kinda did look like my Aunt Eileen after they pulled her from the Delaware River. Then this little spazzy brain gets loose, runs outside into some tree maze, and of course Jack's gotta go get him because old Clogosaurus, she's still stuck on the toilet. She's fucking useless. I've never yelled at a movie before, but oh my god, when your husband lovingly says you're the light of his life and he wants to bash your brains in the same sentence, Wendy, you dump Bonzo, pull yourself together and get the fuck out of there. The ending of this movie is kind of lame. I was hoping something worse would happen to the dad. He's just like out of shape and he take a breather, so he sits down, but he ends up just getting frozen solid to death. So yeah, I'd say the theme of this movie was maybe, I don't know, we should just smack these kids around a little more and not let them and their spazzy-ass brains run the show. I'm going to give it three Tutti Fruity Morning Waters, not four, because I've had to sleep with the fucking lights on the past two nights. My boy Eddie told me, this is the same guy who made Full Metal Jacket. You seen that movie? Oh my god, dude, it's fucking sweet. There's this one hooker, and she's all like, yo, me love you long time, and she's only charging like 15 bucks a wiener. If it wasn't for all the super creepy shit, I'd probably chill this fancy hotel party. I mean, what, they're too good for some Twisted Teas with Barry Vodka floaters? Or the freaking champagne of beers, Miller High Life? Seriously, fuck Stephen King. Uh, Run them jewels. Sponfire comes to your radio. Comedy Central Radio. Good goosh. I was so in that microphone. Ooh. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Uh, where uh, also we'll be playing after this will be the Bob Saget roast, correct? Yeah. We'll be playing, the, playing the, roasts. the roast all week. Uh, leading up to, of course, the Alec Baldwin roast. Uh, Nikki Next Glaser, Sunday. I believe, is on, right? Yeah. Nice. The 15th. The 15th? So they're going to be playing every day of the roasts. All this week, I'm playing uh, roast battle and roasts next week, yeah. Oh, hell, that's awesome. 
Oh, Rose Battle on the radio. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I didn't know that they were running those on the radio. Jeff Ross getting P-A-I-D. Paid. Um, check that out. Of course, I'm Big Jay Ogerson. That, of course, back. Hey, hey, back. Hi. Dan Soder. He's hi. back. Hi. Hello. Uh, yo, you seen this yet? It was pretty hilarious. Great. Jesus Christ. Love Beezer and Kyle. Microwave road cones is a good description <laughs> of that lady's tits. Perfect. When she turned into an old lady. Mm-hmm. Dr. Sleep's coming out. The follow Oh, yeah. With Ewan McGregor? Great trailer. Great trailer. Saw the trailer. Looks real good. Eerie. Yeah. Is Was that ever a thing? Was that ever a real thing? Or is that like a new written, like we're just going to do a sequel to The no, Shining? Wrote, uh, Stephen well, King wrote it. Stephen King did write... Dr. Mm-hmm. Sleep. Dr. Sleep is a, is a true follow-up to The I Shining. Think it, but I also think it hasn't been like many years that book's been out. It's a pretty new book, actually, isn't it? I think it was the last 10 years or something. Okay, like so he decided to write it since the turn of the century. It wasn't like he did The Shining and then he just turned around to Dr. Sleep. No, and it's about Danny Torrance grown up. Got it. It's going to be great. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, you know, speaking of scary movies, I was told that Black Lou <laughs> lived a get-out style vacation in, uh, what is it called, Holderness, New Jersey? Holderness, New Hampshire. Hey. New Hampshire. Yeah. Oh, how how white was New it? Jersey. Oh, there was I, one to one to twenty one to ten on a wool wool uh, sweater scale. It was very very ten whiteness. Wow, super whiteness out of ten. Was there oh, polo yeah. fields? Christmas carols year round. Oh, there's enough. a bit, there's a reason for that. There's a history to this place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what shit. is it? So a the bad, I, I'm assuming a bad one. <laughs> well, I mean, they try to portray it as a as a good history, but it came off a little weird. Uh, so basically, the founder, her name was uh, Mabel Bacon. Okay, Mabel Bacon? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I bet she, she caught uh, some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel, you stupid whore. She goes, I'm going to start my own town. <laughs> Fucking murder big head assholes like that. Oh, no, Maple was a great name. There's Maple Sarah. Maple, Maple Bacon? <laughs> uh, Maple Thomas. The so, Roger Thomas' mama. What's happening? So, Ma- Maple Bacon. Mm-hmm. That's a great name. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn, for getting my Lynn. Where were you for ass what's happening joke? Where were you for quip walk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, Maple Bacon starts this town. Yeah, it's like a little uh, camping area. Basically, they buy like areas where she can camp. Okay, and like ha- you know, basically they 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 start a company where they just have people coming to camp there, and to staff it, uh, what happened was she started working for Hampton. The college, the school, sure, and uh, started taking some of the black kids from Hampton and bringing them up to New Hampshire to work during the summers as the staff there. Okay, uh, it seems okay. Thing. Yeah, it seemed okay, and I was like in the museum, kind of reading up on the history of it because you know you kind of want to know if there's no black people around, like what the hell kind of happened here. Yeah. Were you always uh, afraid you were going to read like one line that you'd get close for, and that was going to be when they clunked you over the head? Yeah, you, you wake up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you go. He goes, and that was the last time they yes. ever See, had a black clunk. face a clunk. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you were reading in the museum. Where was the uh, where was the turn? Was there a turn where you're like, oh, this shit is There was devilish. a turn because they were like, oh, every, basically saying everything was nice and great. And, you know, they were learning and experiencing. And then all of a sudden it said the civil rights movement started and all of a sudden they disappeared. That's so funny. Oh, black, my black, students. Yeah. They go, no. <laughs> well, they no. freed my students. He goes, guys, looks like they found out I've called. If you call them students, they still get it. <laughs> 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 guys, the the gig's up. They fucking, they found out calling them students doesn't help. Where are your, st- where are your slaves? My students? My students. <laughs> my students. My pupils? Uh, my pupils is, so they basically just had black people coming up as the help. To this resort in New Hampshire. And then Black Lou was like, can you tell me more about the story? He goes, I will tell you the story. If you could just go get me and my friend some tea, please. And then he looks down, he's in a tuxedo all oh, of a sudden. No. Like, what the fuck's what the fuck? What the fuck? Did you, were you, uh, how uncomfortable as a black man in a white town that used to bus in black help? Were you packing your shit? Uh, I did feel a little nervous. I mean, it's a, it's somewhat of a liberal town. Yeah. You know, but. Not, like we're not like that anymore. I mean, my dad's like that, but no, I'm not like that. Yeah, he, he wants basically. to become you. Yeah, <laughs> it's liberal but totally segregated. Like it's all white. Like there's no right. no diversity the worst, whatsoever. Those no. are the worst uh, white people because they think the they're super liberal. 
no, not diverse though at all. Yeah, they're black people. They're, they're the go, ones that waste everyone's time on like that is a marginalizing term. Like just shut up, shut up. Shut what up, are you doing? And they go listen at my wind chime store. We had a black guy walk in, and I rolled out the red carpet. His and name was like, Winslow. His mother used to clean our house. I, Anywho, I just followed him around the store asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just followed this black man around your store. Yes, but it was because I was treating him so nice. I just wanted to know that I'm here and I'm working for him, and that and, I, I, and there's over. always and there's always eyes on. Him. I'm watching over him, and if he has a problem. I'm so doing the math. He's safe. So he's If he has safe. problem with numbers, I know those those things <laughs> are getting crazy racist. They're not good at reading. <laughs> so I'm there to read all the tags to them. You're like, you know you sound fucking crazy right now. Yeah, the small liberal conclaves of people with no black people yeah. or uh, Mexicans or just all white little, little liberal towns. That's got to be nuts. I mean, I was there with my wife's family. So, you know, there was 20 of them also. Oh, they wow. Do, they kind of do this every year where they go camping and, like, chill over there, basically. And they have their own cabin up the road, and we kind of go back and forth. But I did run into one black person. And it he was, goes, what are you doing here, man? It was fucking awkward. Get out. Oh, it yeah. was no star awkward. bleeding? Word. Yeah. Why was I didn't awkward? even go close to him. I wouldn't even get close to him. Because he was oh, man, in you a guys chef. Done, you guys should have went up and just did, like, a crazy, complicated <laughs> handshake that lasted forever. <laughs> My man. What the fuck so, are you doing here? And, so, and, and those goofy white people would stand in a circle and start going, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're doing, that, they're doing one of their things. Is that a handshake that you remember in your genetics from Africa? <laughs> no, 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 that's not. No, that's, that sounds really bad when you say it like that. Is that is that some mumbo jumbo from the jungle? <laughs> yeah. What? No. no. Oh, we were fucking no. with you guys. And so you avoided him? Yeah. We. I mean, we didn't come close to each other at all. He was there. Basically, to just hand out rice. Right. I thought you were actually just turned. He goes, "We just crossed the street because you don't know what that guy is thinking." I have my wife with me, I my family. Yeah. And, you know, I immediately called the police. This guy, he had half cornrows, half afro. I, I don't, don't know. know. He's do. capable of anything. <laughs> He's Method Man in the Mary J. Blige video. Uh, that is weird. You just completely avoided. We, we were not. Yeah, we didn't make eye contact. He was just handing out white rice or brown rice. Yeah. It was one of those situations. Like I don't want to see. I don't. Yeah, you should, you should have said brown this. rice, brother. They're you handing out brown rice. To brown the rice, brother. No, no, no. <laughs> I, like during the service, so we eat in the cafeteria three times a day. Okay. The black people? breakfast, lunch, <laughs> 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 and you have to really, really dress up for dinners and stuff like that. They like you will get yelled at if you Do don't you know dress the up name for dinner. Of the ground, I've been trying to look it's, it up. It's um, Holderness, New Hampshire. It's called Squam Lake. Squam Lake, oh, and it's uh, so it's like a vacation retreat or something. Yeah, is that what yeah, it is? and they go every single year. Shout out to the people they originally stole the land from, the Native Americans <laughs> who named the lake. Look do up, they uh, dominate it or do they? Uh, it sounds like a shining place. It actually, it's, it's a do, white. It's a uh, white. Yeah, my lake. wife's family. Dominates the campground, basically. Okay. Oh, yeah. domination! They've got a fucking dynasty but going. But it's campground, but it's indoor, like beds. And yeah, we right? have yeah. cabins. We just don't have uh, TVs or Wait, refrigerators. No, of course, you just got to listen to white stories nonstop. I remember playing croquet That's in the it, yeah. lawn. Two things: Did you ever think at some point they were going to just try to feed you a bunch of food and hunt you? And <laughs> <laughs> oh, like survive, all, all off surviving the game. And then, yeah. And then they go, Lewis, uh, we didn't tell you this, but this is a money belt. You put this around your waist. If you survive the night, you keep the money. This is more my favorite. I don't want, I don't want Human you to... game is the hardest game. The most dangerous game. <laughs> we'll use bow and arrows. <laughs> Light um, sword work. Did you notice you have to? I don't want you to, like, you know, shit on anybody in your wife's family. For I sure. want you to. No, I don't want they you don't to. But I'm not even. I know, but I'm not even asking for that. Other than, did you? Is it funny or eye rolly to notice when someone's coming to talk to you to really just try to like? Yeah, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. Like a grandma coming up to you and just saying uncomfortable things that she doesn't realize. She just thinks she's trying to relate to you. Do you feel that vibe ever? Like I'm gonna try to relate to this guy right now. You know, whether whatever it may be. In that scenario, yeah, people. I mean, they really didn't say much to me. It was more like, <laughs> I, like I, I like, you enjoy the barbecue, Lou. He goes, I know no one barbecues like you people, but we're doing our best over here <laughs> in our little pocket of the heaven. You know, is there enough taste in the food? <laughs> you know, what? That's a, what a weird question to ask. <laughs> is there enough? Do you feel like there's enough taste in your food? <laughs> what are you asking? <laughs> what are you saying? Is it that seasoned? For? What? Yeah. Does your hair dry properly with our towels? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but you're saying, is there any awkwardness in the family? 
Not, but uh, not awkward so as they'd know. More like just you. Do you know what I'm saying? You could feel something no one else is feeling. They think they're doing like a positive thing or nothing weird, but you're just kind of laughing to yourself that like it is weird for sure. Not just, that I can... just sliding in anything. You understand what I'm saying, though, right? You're thinking about it, whether it's happening or not. Right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Though. Just some uh, some version of like the, I have a black friend. Uh, you know, oh my, Dennis was black. You know, yes, I met that. a black guy on vacation. And we had the greatest conversation. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He kind of reminds me of you. Yeah, well spoken. Yeah. Very, oh. very well spoken, oh. articulate. Oh my like God. Carlton from Fresh Prince. Things oh. like that. No. Yeah. To you. Yeah. That's so To your face. I'm not intimidating looking, so yeah. I don't know, Black Louis. Have you ever have you ever fucking. wanted to snap and be like, What the fuck are you talking about? A couple of times. Yeah, just be like, What are you fucking what are you blabbing yeah. about? But it's never worth it. No, there's never worth it. You know why, dude? You're porking a girl in their family. Yeah. You win, bro. Checkmate, dude. Have you ever had any issues with your family being shitty to your wife? No, not at all. I've been dating white girls for so long, they already knew. Did the first white girl, was she like Neil Armstrong landing on the moon? Was it a little dicey? She came in and like, what is this white bitch doing? <laughs> <laughs> do, they try to, do they try to fuck with her and make her go like first in like a Soul Train dance line or something? Like, <laughs> at the parties, they go, go snowflake, go snowflake. <laughs> and then you have to be like, no, no, just go. And she's like, he goes, this is my girlfriend. Me. She goes, she gets a plate if she beats your uncle in dominoes. <laughs> she gets a plate. Go, what? What? They what wanted the to know why most of the songs at my wedding were censored. That's oh, really? so yeah. hilarious. Like, why, why, uh, why are you not saying nigga on the dance floor? I'm like, this is a half wedding. <laughs> I, We're not having any fights tonight. Dude, that's <laughs> so, yeah, you don't want to see your fucking brother in law half tank just really diving into the end bombs in a fucking DMX song. Yo, white boy, why don't you hire me at your company? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just happening. You go, another, the whole wedding. Yo, white boy, why don't you hire me up at your company? He goes, well, oh. what is it you do exactly? I do all kinds of shit. What do you want me to do? That, those stories, though, being like, I know what you're talking about. You know what? I had a great time at a Jamaican restaurant. Exactly. Have you ever had jerk chicken? Yes. My son's been playing <laughs> I me Kendrick goat. Lamar in the car. I like, I like it. The lyrics are I'm, angry, but it tells such a story of a, of the bite. <laughs> and I get it. I get it. I've been listen- I know he's not popular, but I've been listening to Kanye West, and he is so talented. A street Profit, perhaps. I know. Damn, dude. We're already done. I know. Well, Black Lou, I'm glad you got out of Get Out, too. Thank you. Oh, I bet. I'll have to show you the family music. I hope, you're, I hope you're Cowboys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the story's not over. Stories, I, I, read, really? I, read, I read the story you te- you uh, emailed to us. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I know the story's not over. So What? Unfortunately, to be continued. Next week. Um, next week. <sighs> we got two pre-records. Fun. Yeah, we have two pre-records going that me and Dan did for you. Uh, one from my house. One from Sal Volcano's. One from Sal Volcano's house. Very, uh, very fun. Very fun hangs. Very exciting. Yeah, dude, Sal, was, that was, you know, it's always great when we have Sal on. and It was a fun hang, and it's great to be back. We'll be back with Oh, there's, full... a, whole tra- there's a whole story on the Sal episode, a whole trajectory. Yeah, but we'll be back next week for, uh, you know, all live shows. Go to BigJComedy.com, DanSoder.com. All live shows. Oh, if you're this yeah, weekend... Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Go to the Nebraska. Funny Bone. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, and then I'll be in Las Vegas at the Comedy Cellar at the Rio Friday and Saturday. LV. LV Cellar. So uh, Las Vegas for me, Omaha for Jay, BigJComedy.com, DanSoder.com, CC.com slash Bonfire, Lose, Christine, So Jacob. happy to have everybody love back you guys. together. Uh, Lynn, Step, Step Corey. Corey, we love you, Step Thank Corey. Thank you guys so much for coming and filming us today. I know it was kind of last minute on that, so mm-hmm. let's... Uh, Oh, also, uh, well, uh, goddamn comedy jam. I would told Josh Vegas. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yes, of course. Uh, this Thursday. Yes. In Las Vegas. Yes. Dan Soder. Maybe. Dan Soder. <laughs> Maybe. Dan Soder. Oh, where are you? Yeah, dude, you I'm have to so do it. I'm so sorry. You gotta do it, dude. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. Just gotta commit. <laughs> you gotta just do it, dude. I need somebody in always. Me and da- guaranteed. Me and Dan both doing the goddamn comedy jam. All right, well, let's fucking in, uh, let's in Las Vegas. Let's live. Do it, it Vegas. Uh, we love you guys. We're so happy to be back. We'll see you on Monday. Enjoy the two pre-records. Crackle, crackle.